why would you think it was your place to do that? I, I know I haven't seen much of him in recent times, but we were very close. And I know exactly what he wants for his funeral. It was one of our favorite postprandial conversations. Benny's the time we laid him to rest over crackers and a ripe cheddar. Norris were my partner and he left me very clear instructions. What instructions? None of your business. None of this is. It was awful enough losing Norris without you turning his funeral into a circus. Look, I, I can see you're upset and so am I. But Norris and I were man and wife. Were man and wife. You're divorced. I will not let a cold legal document efface him from my heart. If you feel like I have stood on your toes, then I'm sorry, no offense was intended. But I think it's only right and proper that I have an input. Input? You've organized the entire thing. Well, nothing's set in stone. Well, apart from the inscription on the memorial, but I doubt that anybody's raised the chiseling anger as yet. No, no. I have put a hold on all of it. Well, not exactly all of it. I have just begun work on a giant floral stapler, honoring a life well spent in stationery. Now, tell me he wouldn't appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I'm sure he would. But you have got to understand how difficult this is for me, all of it without you wrangling on top. Look, I know I've been a bit gung-ho, but I just wanted to play my part. You need to get my agreement before you go booking anything else. Promise me? Of course. Major McLennan? Yes, hello, it's me, Mary Taylor. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> it's about that booking I made this morning. 